Hey guys, welcome to this introduction video to the Turbulence FD series for Cinema 4D. In this series, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Turbulence FD plugin. But before we actually get into the plugin, there's a few things that I'd like to go over in this introduction video. So the first thing is, what exactly is Turbulence FD and what does it do? Well, I'm sure that most of you already know this, but for those of you that don't, Turbulence FD is a fire and smoke simulation plugin. Before, in the past, if you wanted to have any type of smoke or fire inside of Cinema 4D, you had to do it by using thinking particles with some type of an emitter, and in order to shade it, you had to use pyro cluster. Now, of course, those of you who have actually used that before know that you're not really going to get realistic results. So now we have Turbulence FD, which actually simulates real-world fire and smoke for us. However, Turbulence FD simulates this, which means that you have to click a simulation button, and then you have to wait for the simulation to stop, and every frame that you have simulated is then cached onto your hard drive. Whereas, by default, if you're going to use an emitter with pyro cluster, all you have to do is just basically hit the play button here for the timeline, and then everything will be kind of calculated in the viewport, but none of that is actually cached unless you set up some type of cache for it. So think of Turbulence FD as kind of working like real flow. If you've ever used real flow, you'll know that you have to set up your parameters, then you have to click the simulate button, you have to wait for it to finish, and then you can scrub back and forth through the timeline to see it. So that's kind of like how Turbulence FD works. So the next thing I want to go over is the two simulation options that, that Turbulence FD has, and that would be CPU and GPU. Now the CPU is pretty straightforward. Anybody with a computer can use this. Uh, it'll use whatever CPU you have. However, for the GPU option, Turbulence FD only has one available option right now, and that is CUDA. That means all of you guys that are using AMD cards, well, I'm sorry, but there's no OpenCL implementation right now in the plugin. Now the developer has stated that it's very possible in a future release that he will add OpenCL into it, but right now it's only CUDA. So all of you NVIDIA guys with a big beefy GPU, you should be able to use this. So let's talk about that for a moment. If any of you guys are using an NVIDIA GPU with less than a gig of RAM on it, it may not work. Last time I checked, you gotta have at least one gigabyte of RAM on your GPU in order for it to recognize it. So if you've got 512 megabytes of RAM on your GPU, it's probably not going to work, but even if it did, you're not going to be able to go very far with only 512 megabytes of RAM. That's not really enough to really do much of anything, and before you know it, within the first few frames of simulating, it's going to switch over to the CPU in the system RAM. Now there's another issue that some of you may encounter because I have encountered this before in the past and that is if you open up the simulation window and I'm just going to go to that real quick you can get to the plugin by going to plugins and we've got turbulence FD and you want to go to the simulation window of course I've got mine docked up here in a little tab so I'm going to click on the simulation window and you can see we have a drop down menu here and it's listing the CPU option and also the GPU. Now I have an older GPU that's got one gig of RAM on it, which means I'm not going to be able to go too far with it, but it'll still work. And you can see it's a GeForce GTX 560 Ti. Now some of you guys that are running NVIDIA GPUs, your GPU may not show up here in the list. And the reason for that is because you may need to update your NVIDIA driver. So this is what has happened to me before in the past. Sometimes when you launch Cinema 4D, Turbulence FD will pop up a little window and it'll say that there is a new version of Turbulence FD available. Do you want to update? Yes or no? So if you click yes, it will take you over to the Turbulence FD website. Then you can log in, you download the latest version, and then you just copy that over into your plugins directory. You delete the old folder, copy in the new one, and then relaunch Cinema 4D, and then you'll have the latest version of TFD. However, after doing that, sometimes my GPU was no longer listed here in the drop-down menu. I only had the CPU option. 
So I wasn't quite sure what to do about it and it took me a little time to figure out that I had to update my NVIDIA driver. I thought that I was using the latest one, but I wasn't. So what I did was I went and I downloaded the latest driver, installed it, came back, and the GPU option was there. So if you're running an NVIDIA GPU and your GPU option is not listed there in this drop-down menu, then just be sure that you're running the latest NVIDIA driver. Okay, so there's one more thing I quickly want to talk about, and I'm not sure if this issue has been resolved or not yet. I haven't taken the time to actually look into it to see, but even if it's already been fixed, I don't know, maybe in case some of you guys encountered the problem or have encountered it in the past, then I just want to quickly touch on this. So the problem is that Turbulence FD is dynamic in the sense of it will switch between the GPU and the CPU when you run out of memory. So if you're using your GPU to simulate, it will give you a little readout here in the simulation window and it will tell you how much RAM you have on your GPU and how much of that RAM is being used by the simulation. So if the amount of RAM that's being used by the simulation reaches the maximum amount of RAM that your GPU has, it will automatically switch from using the GPU over to the CPU and the system RAM. Now before, in previous versions with the previous NVIDIA drivers, there was a little bit of a glitch here. And what would happen is that as soon as it made that switch from GPU to CPU automatically, the plugin would crash and it would throw up an error and it would say that there has been a problem, uh, you need to quit out Turbulence FD, you need to quit. And in some cases, uh, I believe it was actually crashing Cinema 4D. Uh, I don't think it ever crashed mine. It was just a window that came up and said you have to stop the plugin. So after reporting this to the developer, he said that this is an issue with NVIDIA and that they were working on it. So I don't know if it's been actually fixed yet or not, but just in case you guys encounter that problem, uh, you know, don't think it's an issue with Cinema 4D or anything like that. It's actually an NVIDIA issue with their driver. So I'm hoping that they fix that because uh, usually, because I only have a gig of RAM on my GPU, uh, sometimes I run out of RAM and it will automatically switch back over to the CPU. And it's during that switch that the error is, uh, is, is when the error is happening. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps up all this basic stuff that I wanted to just quickly go over in this introduction video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to get started uh, diving into the plugin and start with some of the basic stuff about it. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next part.